The operation that killed Osama bin Laden took shape when detainees at Guantanamo Bay identified a courier as someone who may have been living with the militant leader. Four years ago, officials discovered the identity of the courier. That information has not yet been made public, but we are hearing that the courier has died. Two years later, investigators identified areas of Pakistan where the courier lived with his brother. Now, in August of 2010, the courier's residence was found in Abbottabad, about 50 kilometers north of Pakistan's capital, Islamabad. And it was quite the place. You wouldn't expect a courier to live in such a big compound. U.S. President Barack Obama was then briefed on a possible lead to bin Laden's whereabouts. Throughout March and April, President Obama held a series of National Security Council meetings to develop a course of action only a handful of people knew about it. Leon Panetta was one, of course, Obama was the other. And this past Friday morning, when the world was watching the royal wedding, President Obama of the United States gave the final order to go get bin Laden. That brings us to the early hours of Monday morning local time. U.S. military teams conducted a small helicopter raid on the compound. Navy SEALs were involved in that operation. Osama bin Laden may still have his admirers, but they don't hold positions of power in the world. The world's leaders pretty much agree with the U.S. president that the world is a better place after the al-Qaeda leader's death. Andrew Nichols now on the world's reaction. Andrew. And Carol, uh, we'll get to a couple of Security Council members of Britain and France. Uh, let's listen to what United Kingdom's David Cameron had to say. This news will be welcomed right across our country. Of course, it does not mark the end of the threat we face from extremist terror. Indeed, we'll have to be particularly vigilant in the weeks ahead. But it is, I believe, a massive step forward. That was David Cameron. Also, Nicolas Sarkozy, the president of France, had this to say. The scourge of terrorism has suffered an historic defeat, but it's not the end of al-Qaeda. Carol? Right. Andrew, what I found really interesting about this story is that when it came time, when they had the body of Osama bin Laden after they had killed him, they buried him in the North Arabian Sea because no country would have him. That's what they're saying. And certainly Saudi Arabia said it declined to take him back home. This is where Osama bin Laden was born. What kind of reaction has there been from the Middle East? Well, uh, interestingly, of course, uh, the Middle East and uh, Pre Pre Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel certainly had reaction to all of this. Let's listen to what he had to say. I want to congratulate President Obama and the American people. I want to congratulate America's soldiers and its intelligence personnel for a truly outstanding achievement. It took 10 years to track Osama bin Laden down. It took 10 years to bring a measure of justice to his victims. But the battle against terrorism is long and relentless and resolute. This is a day of victory, a victory for justice, for freedom, and for our common civilization. A Palestinian Authority spokesman also reacted to this in a statement, uh, getting rid of bin Laden is good for the cause of peace worldwide, but what counts is to overcome the discourse and the methods, the violent methods that were created and encouraged by bin Laden and, and others in the world. Now, perhaps one of the exceptions to uh, those that are celebrating the killing of Osama bin Laden, uh, a Hamas uh, official saying this, we condemn the assassination and the killing of an Arab holy warrior. We regard this as a continuation of the American policy based on oppression and the shedding of Muslim and Arab blood. Uh, the Pakistani Prime Minister Yusuf Razi Jilani said, we will not allow our soil to be used against any other country for terrorism, and therefore I think it's a great victory, it's a success, and I congratulate the success of this mission. Now let's listen to former President of uh, Pakistan, Pervez Musharraf. It's a victory for the people of Pakistan. Uh because uh, Osama bin Laden is a person who had declared war on Pakistan. And many of the terrorist acts in Pakistan had their linkages with Al-Qaeda. Therefore, it's a victory for Pakistan as well as peace-loving people of the world.
And so, Carol, there you go. Just a small sampling of the reaction from world leaders. Today. Two things that are interesting about that, Andrew. Number one, to hear Pervez Musharraf, of the for pre former president of Pakistan, say that, yes, no surprise there, but he also went on to say that they shouldn't have done it, meaning they should not have violated Pakistan's sovereignty, indicating that Pakistan uh, didn't know or is purported not to know that the Americans were going to cross the border and conduct this operation. That's number one. Number two, find it interesting, Hamas, the governing body of uh, Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, very much at odds, saying he was a holy warrior, supporting uh, Osama bin Laden and his ideas, uh, in contrast to the Palestinian Authority, who they, in the last few days, have just reconciled with. Uh, interesting to see the divergent opinions and viewpoints of those two particular bodies. No, so, no, you're absolutely right, Carol, that I suppose it, to a certain extent, is to be expected, given the divergent opinions uh, amongst Palestinians uh, within these territories, and also, uh, it is also interesting, given and the Pakistani former president saying that because uh, Pakistani sovereignty has always been a concern uh, and U.S. encroachments against that has definitely been a source of contention. Andrew, thank you. Okay. It's about time. Honestly, like, that was my first reaction. I was like, it's about time. We found We got him. Osama bin Laden's death is welcome news to these U.S. Marines in California. Coming up next, reaction from Canadian soldiers in Afghanistan. Okay, you want to know where this is? This time the chanting is outside of the Texas home of former U.S. President George W. Bush. Barack Obama called his predecessor personally yesterday to relay the news that U.S. forces had killed bin Laden. Bush later issued a statement saying bin Laden's death shows, quote, no matter how long it takes, justice will be done, end quote. We are tracking reaction from around the world to Osama bin Laden's death. I want to share with you some tape from a Canadian soldier who's in Afghanistan today. Remember, Canada joined the invasion of Afghanistan to avenge the attacks of September 11th that were launched by bin Laden to get rid of the Taliban. We are still fighting that war. Here's a reaction from one of our soldiers. Uh, hopefully it's a step forward towards world peace and, and resolution for conflict here in Afghanistan. The Afghan people get to live uh, happy and uh, healthy and prosperous. Another, uh, another indication that we're, uh, we're winning the war and uh, making strides in, uh, in the right direction. So, so the it. thumbs up. It's, a, it's an odd feeling in the ballpark right now, to be perfectly honest with you at home. Some of the crowd chanting, USA, USA, obviously aware of the news. Well, word of Osama bin Laden's death spread quickly last night. At a baseball game in Philadelphia, the buzz began when people got the news on their smartphones. Fans started chanting USA in the middle of the game. Players on the field didn't know what was going on until the news came up over the stadium speakers. Uh, on the Videotron that Osama bin Laden had been killed. A four-game losing streak. That's the reaction at Ground Zero in New York very early this morning, just hours after the U.S. president announced the death of Osama bin Laden. He announced it about 11.30 Eastern Time last night. People waved flags. They sang the Star Spangled Banner. There was even an impromptu moment of silence to remember the victims who died in those attacks on the World Trade Center. There are still people gathering at Ground Zero this afternoon, hours after learning of bin Laden's death. And Catherine Mercier is there, too. And here's her report. Uh, there's certainly a bit of a mood change here when you consider what happened last night when the news came out that Osama bin Laden had been killed. At that time, there was an outpour of people, a jubilant crowd that gathered here. Uh, it was just packed with people. I was here uh, earlier this morning at 4 or 5 in the morning. There were still people chanting patriotic slogan, very happy that finally uh, America was able to get the job done. And you see it on the cover of uh, newspapers today uh, here in New York. You see uh, the New York Post says, we got him. So uh, very, uh, very blatant uh, statement here. So uh, one thing that needs to be uh, said, though, uh, Carol, is that 
aside from that jubilant crowd, there was also a bit of a solemn atmosphere because let's remember almost 3,000 people died in the attacks on September 11th. So you had people who were here carrying pictures of their loved ones who died in the attack. They had flowers, they had candles with them. So on the one hand, yes, justice had been, has been made today, but everybody knows very well that the loved ones and the lost ones will never come back. That's Catherine Mercier reporting from Ground Zero in New York.